And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Ostafricosaurus, which was a request by Jaybird via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was a theropod that lived in the late Jurassic in what is now Tanzania in the Tendaguru Formation. Only the teeth have been found. Oh boy, one yep. of these. <laughs> so no, no skull fossils have been found, but it's a spinosaur based on the teeth. And because it's a spinosaur, it probably had a long, narrow snout. It probably also had a long tail and a bulky body and walked on two legs. It's estimated to be about 28 feet or 8.4 <laughs> meters long and weigh 1.15 tons. But obviously, <laughs> obviously, it's hard to estimate the size based on such fragmentary fossils. Yes. <laughs> Now, these fossils were found between 1909 and 1912. And during those expeditions, 230 isolated theropod teeth were found. A lot of teeth. Yes. And one of them was assigned to Labrosaurus with a question mark, Stachowai, in 1920 by Werner Genensch, who tried to identify all of the theropod teeth by classifying them into five types in a monograph in 1925 which I can imagine was not the easiest to do. Yeah. In 2000, James Madsen and Samuel Wells referred the Labrosaurus with the question mark teeth to Ceratosaurus as just some kind of Ceratosaurus species. Oh, that's surprising. Because Ceratosaurus and Spinosaurus don't have that similar of teeth. And Labrosaurus is now considered to be a synonym of Allosaurus, just FYI. Okay, so that's different than Ostrofricosaurus. No, these are the Ostrofricosaurus teeth. They started off as Labrosaurus, the question mark, then some kind of Ceratosaurus. And then in 2007, Denver Fowler suggested that these teeth were Spinosaurid teeth. Oh, okay. And Eric Buffett in 2008 also suggested that they were Spinosaurid teeth. In 2011, Oliver Rau found the Labrosaurus question mark Stachowai to be dubious as a dinosaur, because there are no unique features, and then also referred the teeth found in the Tendaguru formation as Ceratosaurus, question mark, Stachowai. So a lot going on with these teeth, which, again, there were 230 isolated theropod teeth found, so things got confusing. But these weren't the only ones. These are just the ones you're talking about today. Yes. So Ostrophricosaurus was named in 2012 by Eric Buffetot based on two teeth, one of the two teeth is the holotype. That holotype tooth is 1.8 inches or 46 millimeters long, and it's got this curved front edge with large serrations that are larger than other spinosaur teeth. Oh, okay, I can start to see where the confusion comes from. Yeah, and then he tentatively referred a second tooth. Now, both teeth are curved in the front, but there are some differences in the ridges, which could be due to individual variation. Or even just where in the mouth the tooth is. Yeah, and the two teeth also came from different parts of the Tendaguru formation, so that's why it's two specimens, one for each tooth. That's really hard to name dinosaurs based on teeth, but <laughs> Eric said that theropod teeth, and in particular spinosaur teeth, can have unique enough features to name a dinosaur, mm. and that's based on features such as the ornamentation on the teeth. And these teeth look similar to the teeth of Baryonyx. Ornamentation on the teeth have similarities to lots of different theropods, including Ceratosaurus and Coelophysis. A 2020 study of teeth from the Tendaguru Formation found Ostrophricosaurus to be a Ceratosaurid. Oh, we're back again. <laughs> yes. Fowler, however, suggested that Ceratosaur and Spinosaur teeth were connected, but Buffetot didn't agree. And he described Ostrophricosaurus as an early Spinosaurid theropod. I see. So if it's an early Spinosaurid, then it's similar to some more general theropods? Yes. Yeah, because I don't think of Spinosaurid teeth as being curved and serrated. They're more conical and pointy and fairly smooth. Yes. Now these teeth had strong ridges. Baryonyx and some close relatives, including Spinosaurid teeth found in Asia, also had strong ridges, and that's why the teeth are thought to be Spinosaurid. The type species is Ostrophricosaurus crassoceratus. The genus name comes from Ostafrica, which means German East Africa lizard. 
and the species name means thick and serrated and refers to the teeth. The enamel on the tooth is, quote, finely wrinkled. Hmm. There's also large serrations on the teeth. And this helps show that spinosaur teeth became more conical and less serrated as they evolved. If they are, in fact, spinosaur teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, this may mean that earlier spinosaurids had larger serrations on their teeth, and they evolved to have smoother teeth that were also more straight or less curved. So this is one of the oldest known spinosaurid fossils. It helps show that spinosaurids may have lived around the world before Pangaea broke up. How old were these teeth? About 150 million years. Oh, that is old, especially for a spinosaur. Yes. So Eric, who named Ostrophrygosaurus, suggested that spinosaurids were widespread early on, based on spinosaurids being found in Asia and Asia probably was separated from the other continents in the late Jurassic and early Cretaceous. And of course, a lot of other spinosaurs described are from the early Cretaceous, and that's much later than Ostrophrygosaurus. In 2016, Alejandro Serrano Martinez and others described a possible spinosaur tooth found in Niger. And that tooth is probably from the middle Jurassic, about 14 million years earlier than Ostrophrygosaurus, which wow. would make that one the oldest known spinosaur fossil. That is very old. <laughs> yes. Ostafricosaurus lived in a subtropical to tropical environment with dry and rainy seasons. And other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place included sauropods, such as Giraffatitan, Stegosaurus, such as Kentrosaurus, and other theropods, such as Abelosaurids and possibly Torvosaurus. And other animals that lived around the same time and place included pterosaurs, crocodiliforms, fish, and mammals. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.